Hello and uh, welcome back. As uh, I believe most of you are aware, uh, there have been some uh, missions lately to be able to uh, get the premium UK ship Exeter for free. A lot of those missions uh, you need to play a mid-tier uh, UK ship. And since I have the Belfast, that was uh, more often than not, the obvious choice to take out and uh, get some missions done. In this particular game, uh, we see that we have uh, a whole bunch of cruisers and we also have uh, two CVs. Um, not too many battleships, which is a bit unfortunate because uh, it's always fun to burn those down. But uh, it's definitely a favorable matchmaking since it's uh, tier 7. And um, it's really nothing that the Belfast should have any major issues with. The AA is also good enough that I don't fear the tier 6 carriers particularly much. Early game I decide to uh, move towards C, going B in the early stages of the game in a cruiser doesn't feel particularly wise and based on the spawn of the ships uh, C felt like the better option to start with. Uh, thanks to the spotting of the Ranger, we see that there are at least two ships heading that way. But uh, we have, uh, apart from me, a Murmansk and a Duke of York here as well. Uh, Omaha is uh, doing some strange things, moving backwards and forwards a bit, and a bit indecisive. But we still have... Uh, as far as it appears in a way, the ship advantage, and we also have a carrier here that uh, seems willing to uh, help out. We see that uh, the enemy ship team is actually moving uh, several ships into B, and then they have a couple over at A as well so far. Miyoko is spotted uh, inside the cap and uh, Graspe is uh, not far behind. So I start slowing down. Uh, I want to be able to smoke up uh, instantly as soon as I clear the island. Uh, or as soon as perhaps they clear the island. Um, so that I can uh, start uh, doing some damage and hopefully take them out. As soon as I can, I activate my smoke and start shooting at the grass bay. Uh, getting some uh, decent HE salvos. Um, having IFHE on the Belfast is uh, certainly a significant help. Also providing a bit of uh, A cover um, when the enemy CV strike. Grass Bay disappears and the rest of the ships with me are behind my smoke, so once my guns are reloaded I activate my radar and continue to shoot at uh, the Grass Bay. Obviously both the Grass Bay and the Miyoko uh, have torps. My Hydro is running so that I can uh, detect them if they happen to be coming towards my smoke, which is a fair assumption. Miyoka's already uh, went behind or in between the islands and the grass bay is following suit. So my position in the smoke is uh, pretty pointless and I have to start moving up. Uh, C has uh, fallen to the enemy team. Uh, B is about to uh, do that as well. Uh, it's only Around A, it is currently looking uh, okay-ish. 
We are uh, two ships down though, and we have lost uh, one. However, the Graspe is uh, low and is currently uh, ticking on fire. So, me and the Duke of York should have no problem finishing him off as soon as we uh, can clear the island. I am uh, very wary of, my, of his torps though. I don't have Hydro, uh, the Duke of York should of course uh, catch them uh, before I do, but even so I don't really want to take any risks. My salve is kind of crappy, but at least the Duke of York managed to finish him off. Uh, unfortunately he uh, sails in a straight line and it's uh, three of the four torps the grass base sent out. So he took a significant hit. Uh, we are taking Sina though, and uh, they are working on A in the west as well. Uh, B, however, is in the enemy hand, and uh, now both teams are down three ships, so fairly uh, even at this point. I'll start making my way through the islands here to see if I can uh, catch the Miyoko and help the Omaha. We do have the two CVs uh, north of there as well, so it's important that uh, we don't let uh, Miyoko get away, uh, kill the Omaha and move further up. The enemy ships that were in B are now moving over to A. Um, they're actually all doing that. So the remaining three ships we have over there will have a serious issue at hand. I am detected, try to shoot but can't uh, fully clear the island. But after the second attempt I switch to AP because the Miyoko is giving me a nice broadside. And a score of hit of uh, almost 12,000. Uh, so that's definitely nice. I popped uh, Hydra to detect the Torps, the new would be coming, uh, but uh, those Torps were really, really bad and I would have been able to avoid them easily even without Hydra. Either way, Yoko is going down, uh, the Oma managed to get him with uh, Torps. And apart from our New York moving towards sea, uh, there is uh, no other enemy ship on this side. And as I said before, we have uh, only three ships over at A. Uh, we do have an Ajir in the middle. But uh, he's not really in the best position. So I start making my way over uh, to B. See if I can take it and then uh, help out with enemies at uh, a. I expect that the Omaha, the King of, uh, Duke of York, and possibly even uh, the CVs can take out the New York without me, so I haven't any major issues with uh, leaving them alone. And we see once again that uh, the enemy team is uh, doing good work over at A. And we've already lost one ship and it will not be too long until we uh, lose the Iron Duke and the Nelson as well. Thankfully we do manage to kill the New York uh, over at C. Which means that... Uh, we now have the entire enemy team over at A, so we know exactly where they will come from. In the middle, uh, I am now alone. 
I have Dahlia with me, but uh, he is sitting behind an island, uh, not really having the best position. I'm hoping the Duke of York and Omaha will uh, come and support, but as we will see, they will be more interesting in starting to chase the enemy CVs. I want to secure the cap before I start shooting, so that's why I didn't really fire on the flint. I don't know exactly the positions of the enemy ships, and if I were to open up, I would just uh, risk getting uh, hammered by several ships. Um, we see there also that both CVs are currently at uh, J6. Uh, and that is what the Omaha and Duke of York will uh, start chasing. Seeing as uh, the enemy team uh, has uh, five ships over at A, or the area around A, I have no interest in pushing in there instead. Um, I smoke up and start opening up on the Exeter, who is being uh, targeted by uh, one of our CVs. I pop my Hydro because uh, Exeter has Torps and uh, Flint is heading over here as well. Uh, he also has Torps. I have to activate my Raid unfortunately to uh, be able to kill the Exeter. And no issues with that. But it does mean that uh, I waste several seconds of it waiting for the Flint to get in uh, radar range. And since the flint uh, does have smoke, he will be able to smoke up and uh, I have no way of detecting him in since uh, my radar is now on cooldown. Let's switch to APC if I can maybe get a good uh, salvo off on uh, the flint before it disappeared but uh, didn't have time so I move on uh, to shoot at the Nelson. Um, switch the flint uh, when I can. He didn't actually smoke up until now. Uh, yeah. But uh, the result was the same since I was sitting in smoke and couldn't see him. As expected, there are torps coming in from the flint and I move out. Um, partly because of the torps, but also because the Nelson is pushing towards me. And I can't really sit and uh, face a Nelson uh, like this. Valerie goes down uh, as I try to move um, past the islands here uh, to get away from the Nelson and so that I can start dealing with the New York. Omaha is now down uh, at the eye line. Duke of York actually didn't go that far um, south, but he's still uh, not really where I need him to be. As I get far enough north, I send out a salvo or two on the Nelson. Just to see if maybe I can get some damage or maybe a fire like here. And then the island covers me. The Duke of York, um, I am expecting over here. Maybe I'm a little bit optimistic here. I should have played a bit more safe, but... Uh, I managed to slow down um, and uh, turn away enough for when I smoke up to avoid most of the damage. It does hit me, but uh, not too much. And instead I can start uh, hammering him with a bit of HE. Um, the CV is uh, spotting him, so I don't really have to waste my uh, radar. The Duke of York goes down at the same time as I get my Confederate. And cross 100,000 damage. Duke of York is uh, about to go down. I set him on fire but to repair, but I have one more salvo ready and I managed to kill him. 
Uh, we are still leading on points, but uh, we are one ship behind uh, until the Omaha managed to get the first CV. I completely misjudge uh, Salvo there trying to uh, get some damage on the Nelson and Flint. Try to use some AP on the Flint, but unfortunately, I. Uh, don't really get the hits I want. Oma goes down again, so we are once more behind on point. Um, orange ships. We are still having a small lead on, on points. I activate my Hydra or the Radar because uh, I know the Emerald will be coming uh, based on the last known position. So I make sure I have AP ready for when he cleared the island and uh, well, hello Emerald, goodbye Emerald. Four Citadels and uh, an easy kill for me. However, we are still very much in trouble uh, with the Nelson and Flint around the B cap. And I see this somewhere uh, on the map, not sure where at this point. And also with the cap disadvantage, we really need to uh, get kills here. I sail in a way so that I have the island in between myself and Nelson to be able to stealth fire on him. Someone in chat thinks that I should go cap uh, B, which is very interesting considering there are two ships there, but uh, we will uh, disregard that... Uh, remark or should I say questionable remark either way uh, Nelson briefly disappears before he clears the island uh, I smoke up because the carrier planes are coming towards him uh, so I can start shooting again I get the high caliber uh, the Nelson shoots H at me Hits me and sets me on fire, but I repair instantly because uh, I'm hoping he will miss or ignore me um, for the rest of the time. I obviously have uh, Hydro running because I know the flint is uh, south of me and will most likely torp me. And just to say that we have the torps. Now I am a bit lucky because the gap here is extremely wide, even for a wide spread. Uh, so I really don't have to move. But the second set will be coming, uh, and I really need to take out the flint. Nelson is no longer um, in a position where I can shoot him, so my best option is to see if I can take out the flint. I had to use my radar to see if I can detect him. Um, so, of course, now when he smokes up, uh, I am completely blind. My first style was a good one, and I get some uh, more hits here. But uh, eventually, I lose him in the smoke. Luckily, the strike from the ranger uh, results in a fire, and he burns down. We are roughly one minute from ending the game, and we do have a small lead. But as the Nelson is entering the sea cap, I am starting to make my way towards B, but then the ranger comes with his plane. And I don't really want to risk damage, so I start turning in to see if I can avoid attack. Which I manage, um, and then I turn back uh, towards B, even though there's not enough time to uh, cap it. Um, that is basically what I think is uh, best. Uh, the ranger is briefly spotted, so I Send out some shells, but he will go behind the island. Uh, there's no point in chasing him. The only thing I can hope for is that the Sivis will survive and the time to run out. 
The planes are coming, but it's not enough time, and we end up winning the game after a hell of a conclusion. And uh, as for the result screen, we uh, first of all see that I managed to get pretty much 180,000 damage, which uh, is pretty good even though the Belfast is a really, really good ship. Confederate and high caliber. Sadly, only three kills. Uh, the Miyoko. I definitely would have been able to kill if not for the torpedo from the Omaha. But uh, doesn't matter too much. None fire, six citadels. Um, thanks to the Miyoko and uh, the Emerald. I'm a bit sad that it wasn't enough to get a devastating strike on the Emerald, but uh, still getting rid of him with one salvo was definitely important. Some defend uh, points and some captures. And a decent amount of uh, credits and XP. Going over to the team score, we see that I managed to rack up uh, 2.9 thousand base XP, which is definitely a good result. Even more, more so when comparing to the second best of the team, which was the Duke of York, uh, that ate. Uh, Crash Bait Torps in the beginning. Uh, he did uh, get uh, 1.7k, so 1200 behind me. So I think it's uh, pretty fair to say that I uh, more or less carried this game. It uh, was pretty close, I think. Um, in the end, we didn't win by much and uh, with a little bit more time he probably would have maybe even lost um, and uh, regardless of how it looked on this replay playing the game was definitely uh, way more nerve-wracking but uh, obviously it was enough for a win and that's uh, very satisfying Damage wise, um, not too much on uh, the fires, uh, only 30,000 even though I got uh, 9 of those. Um, didn't shoot too much AP but uh, still 37 from that and another 113 from uh, HE. So all in all 180 which like I said is, is really good. Uh, damage is uh, fairly spread out between all the ships. Uh, a pretty big uh, bulk came from the Nelson, but also the Graspe. But other than that, um, like I said, a uh, fairly large split between many different ships. We all recovered XP and credits. I am doing a new captain uh, for the Belfast specifically, so that's why um, I'm still leveling up that. Comparing this game to one that I had shortly after this, uh, where I had uh, pretty much the same amount of damage, but where my team was uh, way worse than in this one, uh, here was at least uh, some hope. But I'll just show the team score that as well because it's kind of funny. I have more than a thousand, basically more than the second best of my team, and I have more than the best on the winning team. So that's uh, equally frustrating, equally funny uh, to do that. But it was basically a side note. Um, the main point in this game, um, even though it looked uh, kind of iffy at times if we were going to win or not, uh, it, in the end I think it was a really good game. Uh, and the Belfast, uh, which is which has all these consumables, is just uh, 
ridiculously powerful uh, when you get the opportunity to really use its strengths. So I uh, really hope you enjoyed that game, and I'll see you next time.